Hey, Tom, how are you doing? Uh, lovely to catch up with you. I realise this is the end of the day and you're probably worn out thinking, I don't want to do another interview. Uh, but, I mean, yeah. but it's fine. <laughs> so, um, so, Juice, uh, one of the big sort of uh, uh, organisers behind this whole conference... And ADC. I mean, I think maybe people don't understand what Juice is. Juice is a, a pretty powerful development platform in itself. So it's kind of almost like a, a it's how what people use to make this stuff, right? Yes. So Juice is a Juice is written in C plus plus, and it is an abstraction layer across all the different platforms that you might want an audio want to run an audio application on. So we support apps built on iOS, desktop software built on macOS, and so forth. And on top of that, we support abstracting between all the different plugin formats. So if, if you're a software developer and you want to produce a VST3, an AU, an AAX, an AUV3, with Juice, you only need to like, code your plugin once, and we export to all of those different uh, plugin formats. So is it, is it an interpreter or is it a kind of, is it a language in itself? It's a collection of C++. If you're writing an audio plugin, you're likely already using C++. We say, hey, here's Juice, here's a load of extra C++. And if you only call into that rather into the operating system, then you don't need to worry about the differences between the platforms. So if I was a developer, yep. um, not only, and I, I don't then necessarily have to keep up with, you know, what the latest widgets are in the OS because I could recompile it with the latest version of Juice. Is that sort of... It, I mean, it, that, that is exactly it. Yeah, yeah. So we support five different operating systems, five-ish different plugin formats. On each of those, like the Windows VST is subtly different from a MacOS VST. On each of those, we have different tool chains that you might want to build it. Uh, different hosts also have their own idiosyncrasies and maybe they interpret the plug in format a slightly different way. And if you multiply all of that, those up, it's like 60 or 70 different configurations. Well, so, which would be a nightmare as a small developer to well, have say, to on top say, of that. Say one, like MacOS, big release every year. If they all have one big release every year, that's more than one issue to deal with every week. Dealing with the issue might take more than one week and suddenly your entire life as a plugin developer is just supporting your system rather than building a new plugin or worrying about what kind of music you might want to make. Wow, yeah. I mean, when you put it that way, it just sort of makes it makes it completely kind of obvious choice. So in terms of how it sort of links in with modern technologies and, you know, AI and, you know, language models, all of that stuff, have you got hooks into those sort of features as well? Or are you primarily just into sort of OS and audio hooks? Uh, OS and audio hooks. So it's bring your own LLM. LL, yeah, LLM. Uh, but because we're already in C++, the C++ bindings to all of the, those different... Like large language models, so it's it's not difficult to plumb in. So it's interesting. So I mean, I would be. I mean, I'm a I'm a moderately well. I would say inexperienced coder. So I have an IDE, which is a development environment, which is an editor I'm using. So within something using uh, using Juice, am I just sort of bringing in libraries to sort of enhance things, or is there a, a way to integrate it, it, it more sort of into my development environment? No, it's exactly that. Um, so some functionality. Uh, third parties have bundled as Juice modules. So Juice is modular. It's like, hey, uh, there's a module for doing Dante support, for example. You pull that in, it sits with all your other models. You can interact with uh, whatever platform Dante is providing. It, it seems that, I mean, it, it sounds so obvious and makes it. So does everybody use Juice or is there still some people that don't? <laughs> it seems uh, like, why wouldn't they? So I, I, I don't know this. We don't track exactly what uh, our customers are doing. But I think it's likely that if a new plug plugin is published, it's using Juice. And so, how does it work? Do people just buy a license, or is it a, is it a kind of perpetual license, or do they do kind of yearly? Or I, mean, I guess you've got lots of different models, right? Uh, two models: rolling month, one month subscription, which keeps you up to date with the Juice tip, or you can buy a perpetual license for a specific version of Juice that right. that, that lasts forever. And when you... per, per developer. So um, I guess here you're seeing the fruits of your labors and all these people doing kind of really wonderful things with the stuff that you have created underneath it. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> being at ADC is a mixture. Uh, almost everyone comes and sings Juice's praises, but it's also quite a good opportunity to give me your favorite bug report. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's a, a, a mixture of the two. It's good news it, and there's bad news. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much, Tom. Been a pleasure. Yeah, fantastic.